You know, like I injured my back years ago, my low back, and I had chronic pain down my right leg, nerve pain, and I've been on major meds, major meds um, for depression and pain, narcotic pain pills, and cocktails, mixtures. Since I've been at Bella Vita, my pain is um, negligible, almost gone. You know, I had not only joint pain, but muscle pain. Um, and you know, I heard you saying that the coffee enemas are good for pain. So I've been at Bella Vita, my depression is negligible, I would say also. And I think the main thing that's helped there has been um, the exercise, seriously. Um, came in, um, it was a struggle to walk around the block at home. And, um, you know, my roommate and I um, just polish off four miles early in the morning before sunrise. And it's a ton of fun with her, it really is. And you really set me free in the cold sheet treatment um, with you know, the history of, um, you know, my wounded parents and the, the sense that I always have that I'm not good enough. And it was great because the errors I make and the lack of perfection in what I am, I felt set free in the cold sheet treatment because um, I'm not good enough, you know, and it's Christ. I'm so grateful I came because it's totally different than anything I've ever done before. And the programs I've done before, honestly, I go back and try them again, try them again. And that's not to denigrate them at all, you know. But this is different. Um, and I think that the difference was the cleanse, um, the juicing, honestly, things that I disagreed with, you know, in my heart. I'm like, you know, no, you have to have aren't you supposed to have the, the fiber? You know, you can't take that out of the carrot. You know, so, so anyway, but there's no denying how I feel. There's no denying that. Paired to other facilities and other programs, the difference here was the, the rapid improvement. And um, yeah, I think that's it, the rapid improvement and I'm not, I've never done a cleanse before ever, you know, so, um, so that's got to be the difference. I just am so tired of trying to do my life under my own power. And uh, you think that um, Christ beckons me, you know, to lean on him. I came to Bella Vida because I got breast cancer and I knew I had to change my lifestyle. So I went online and one of the first things I saw was Bella Vida and you, one of your sermons. And you seemed so nice that I thought, well, you know, if I'm going to do something, I've never done anything like this in my life. I'm scared to death when I walked in the door, but everybody's so friendly. Your staff is friendly. That We've made so many new friends that I felt very at home. So it's very peaceful here. And actually I got exactly what I came for. I wanted to detox to get the radiation out of my body. And I wanted to learn how to, how to do raw foods. I wanted spiritual growth, which you really gave us. And I wanted to learn more about health. And, and the way you tied it in with the Bible, I was really fascinated. So it's been wonderful for me. I've been walking six and a half to seven miles a day. So and using the weights and everything. I hadn't done that for a long time, but I'm gonna start that back up when I go back to my fitness center. I lost three pounds and my blood pressure went down, what's 88 over 68, I think it was today. So, I, and the other thing is uh, I have sinus problems and they're about 50% of what they were. And I have carpal tunnel and I haven't hardly felt anything left. There's nothing left in it. So I had hot flashes from the medication I was taking for the estrogen blocker, and I haven't had one since I've been here. It's clear I know that I'm going to go home and start studying the Bible with my husband, which I never thought I'd do. So it's given me a better outlook, more positive. My experience at Bella Vida was surprising, happy, and very peaceful. I came with a lot of negative emotions. I really felt like the Lord had left me, like I was just going through the motions. 
And uh, today on my walk, I was praying and asking the Lord, I said, Lord, I really need to have like a, almost a born again experience. I need you to really touch me. Wonderful people, great food, the exercise, which I've done more than I did at home was good. Um, I think just getting my sugar cravings under control has been really a big thing for me. I really felt like I did connect with the Lord, which was what I was coming for. And it was a real spiritual regeneration. Before I came, I felt like I was on a road that was leading to um, sickness, to diabetes, to maybe heart disease. And I knew I needed something to jolt me out of that, to turn my life around. And I um, felt this program suited my needs because I've known you for many years, followed you and your teachings, and, and I believed that I needed to cleanse, cleanse. I needed to detox. And the second, no, the first day when I did the um, coffee enema, the fir after the first coffee enema, I felt a tremendous difference. I felt my mood lifted, my energy lifted. It was amazing. And I had been very apprehensive about doing that. I had talked to Daniel about it because on the phone before I came thinking, I, I don't think I can do that. And it was incredible. I didn't have any trouble with it and uh, made a huge difference right away. So that motivated me to um, continue to, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to put my whole heart into this. And um, it has been well worth it. Well, I have not neglected exercising at home. I make it last priority. And so doing that here, you know, at first it was hard. It was difficult to get out on that road and walk. I didn't, it hurt. I didn't feel good. But after uh, about three days, it was, I was feeling better. I was feeling stronger. I was feeling, um, uh, you know, go just a little further, go just a little further, and, and uh, it has inspired me to continue to do this at home. I have noticed amazing differences in, in every area of my life. The physical, I have more energy. I feel like I'm resting better. I'm sleeping better, which is um, very helpful. I, I um, feel lighter. I feel cleaner. Um, emotionally, I feel such a peace that usually there's an anxiety inside me. It just feels like a, a clock winding, ticking too fast or something, and it's just like a, a calmness. Spiritually, I have been fed more this past 10 days than I have gotten for a long time. We're in the Word, constantly, in, in your lectures, are such a high level of teaching that are very inspirational. That you have inspired me to m memorize Bible scriptures, to put that in my mind, so that it will create a new person. When I leave here, I am determined to maintain this lifestyle, the eight laws of health, and um, I want my future to be one of, of health, of closeness to God, and doing His work for the rest of my life, and it's dependent on doing this, what you have taught us. So I am very motivated to do that. Coming to Bella Vida, I was very apprehensive, and I've since I got here, everyone has been so helpful, welcoming, loving. It's a whole different environment than I've ever been in my whole life. The grounds are so peaceful. And, you know, I found the, the path by the river there and sat and just could not believe I've never seen anything like the view there. It's beautiful. It's been life-changing here for me. I came hopeless. I, I came really pretty hopeless and fearful uh, because of the, um, 
the fibromyalgia pain I was having and other issues, but mostly it's, it was spiritual that needed healing, restoration, and I didn't have a lot of hope. And in being here, um, Danny and his messages and his talks and the time we spent has given me hope. And now I know that I'm free already. And I just have to hang on to that, hang on to Jesus, and everything will be just fine. I don't have to be hopeless. I don't have to be heavy laden. I don't have to be in bondage to anything anymore. I just have to trust God and keep the word in my mouth and in my heart so I can follow him instead of what I think I want to do. Before I came here, I did not exercise at all. I would walk from the store to the car, you know, from the car to my house. And now I've walked um, a couple miles and a couple miles plus one day. I had a bike ride for about, I think it was close to four miles. Beautiful, I've never felt that way. My balance was unsteady when I came. My um, even walking, I had a lot of pain, I had a lot of weakness, and that's just really much, much improved. I think it's practically gone, and so I feel really good about that in uh, everything. It's just been wonderful. Well, um, just like everyone, I was a little apprehensive coming here, and um, you know, when I got here, I could tell the first night after only being here three or four hours, that um, it was a safe place, and that was important for me. <laughs> so, That was, you know, very, right off, I could feel it was fine, especially with my roommate, Tim. Not that a bond created initially, but um, it felt really good. And I could tell that, you know, there was, there was a place that I didn't know what to anticipate. I didn't know it was coming, but the spiritual element was um, heavy and it, it, really was a place where I reconnected with, with the Lord. I was born Seventh-day Adventist and um, been there and back. And, and I'm glad to say that I'm back walking with the Lord. And I'm sure it wouldn't happen if I wouldn't have been here. Um, it's been amazing. Um, I thought I was coming to a place where I would be learning about raw vegan food. I, my friend kind of tricked me. He didn't, he didn't tell me that it was so spiritual. And um, it's been, it's been something that, you know, has been intertwined with the message of health and that I've never heard before. And it's been so uplifting and so peaceful for me and helpful as far as my conscience, right? that um, it, it, it's, you really have a tranquil, peaceful state of mind that, you know, I was swimming in the pool yesterday going, wow, we're leaving in a couple of days. And it was like, do I really want to leave? <laughs> and, you know, and, and I could just tell, you know, it's time. You know, we're prepared. There's no doubt that once we get out in the real world, there's going to be challenges out there. And I've had my my fair share um, but there's something different this time with um, the tools that you've given us I, I think that you know following the at least a vegan at least a vegetarian the, the minimalist um, diet will uh, really t take us a long way in, in our health and getting to the weight that I want to be which is a substantial amount below where I'm currently at Luckily, through the, the time that we've been here, I've lost 12 and a half pounds. My blood pressure has gone down 
I, I think it's totally normal. You know, like 120 over 80, somewhere around there, which is pretty good from what I started. The experience I have here is very rewarding. I cannot compare it to anything. My expectation, you know, whatever I did here exceeds my e expectation. We came here with my husband. We're desperate for physical healing. But then little that I know that will go beyond that in many ways. So I just praise God. He allowed us to be in a desperate, in a crisis as such. And we don't have any options but to come here. And in spite of the negative things, everything will turn out positive at the end. <laughs> as I'm hoping it will be. Did you like the food? The food, excelente, that's what you would say in Spanish, excellent. The preparation, the color, the taste, everything just fabulous. I wish I could that, do that at home so that Daniel will be fed and then he will get better faster. When I first came, I had pain in my hand and I said, what should I do? I should massage it. I do a hot and cold and kind of thing. And I'm surprised I don't have it. I don't feel it anymore. So, you know, it might not be very, uh, anything that's very prominent compared to the rest of the group, but I feel that healing and then uh, I know it will continue, especially with the heart problem I have. My blood pressure went down. I have so many people that I need to share it with my sister already told me, we're going there. I said, go for it before you get sick. <laughs> when I was 11, I started my menses. And from that time on till now, I've had uh, severe cramps, severe pain, vomiting, bile, um, unable to do anything, just laid up in the bed for five days. And uh, come into Bella Vida last week. And on Friday, I got fearful and scared. I called my husband, hey, can you bring my pills? I'm gonna need them. And he was already at work. He works 7P to 7A. So he can bring them and he says, just trust God. You're there for a reason. God will bring you through. And um, it's now day four and absolutely no pain. So I am, or vomiting. So I'm really thankful to God for that miracle. And it's like a relief because usually you anticipate the pain and you anticipate feeling badly and, and you don't really go travel, you know, do what, more than what you would normally do because you don't want to have that situation in a foreign place. So coming here, I was fearful, but the Lord brought me through. I think the detox helped me a lot because having taken meds for this long, for the past 30 years, um, it built up in my body and I was toxic and just getting the detox, getting the cleanse in, cleaned me out to the point where I had new blood and I was pain-free. The coffee's enemas were very helpful for me. Um, the first day I could see an instant improvement, just um, having that one um, coffee enema, because usually I'm constipated and I would take Senna or Colace or you know, something to help me go. And um, that one day I did four BMs, which was a lot for me um, in one day. And um, it really, like my bloating, my tummy was big, like I was pregnant. You know, people at church would say, hey, are you expecting again, congratulations? You know, you're like, no, I'm just have a big tummy. You know, so the bloating went down. Um, so I'm really thankful. The week before I came to Bella Vita, I was a wreck. I was using a walker. Uh, when I didn't have a walk around, I was using my wife or my kids to hold on to because I had no equilibrium, I had no balance. I was shaking like a leaf. I couldn't drive. I was on short-term disability, filling out the paperwork for long-term disability. Um, just no energy, wondering what was going to become me, what was going to happen. And um, I was looking forward to Bella Vida and I wasn't because I just, you know, wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure what it was going to do for me or what was going to happen. Di bonora. It starts early. 
It starts in the, the wee hours. You get up at early o'clock, you get your vitals taken, you get your blood pressure, you get your weight, you get your pulse taken. That's every day, so that's the standard. The seawater, that's one of the first things we take. <laughs> you don't need to worry about it because it goes right through you. It goes right through, clean through. You don't need to worry about retaining that stuff. And, uh, but, you know, and if anybody thinks that they can't hack it, um, the staff here, they, they throw a little lemon juice in there, makes it palatable, you can actually drink it, it's warm. Not exactly like mama's milk, but you know, it'll do in a pinch and it works great. It cleans you out and you feel, you feel wonderful. Danny, I was scared to death of doing coffee enemas. I gotta admit, they scared me silly. I, I thought I'd be so embarrassed, everything would spill out on the floor. I thought you had to do them in, the, in, the, in a bathtub or something like that, but I was so scared. And then it turns out that uh, I got instructions and there's a piece of cake. They give you some, um, some, some stuff to, to ingest, some goop. Usually, um, I think the first five days it was black, this black sludge. They give you some uh, bug juice. It tastes, um, it tastes terrible, but it's, it's so good for you. And it cleans you out and makes you just feel like a million bucks. So that, you know, that's what I, I feel like a million bucks. I'm taking juices. Uh, what's that juice? It's a half orange, half green. So it must be carrot juice and then greens. And I think you guys said, somebody, one of the staff said it was... Um, Radicchio, no, um, dandelion leaves and some other stuff, spinach, I don't know what else is in there, kale maybe, I don't know. Bok choy, the, the staff could fill me in and, and correct me later, but, but it was good. And you know, I, I don't really like the greens, but yeah, I know it's good for me. So, and, and then the, the carrot juice, it cuts it and makes it palatable. And you take it down, you just quaff it. It's best to take it in one, just one fell swoop, bottoms up. And when you told me that you could get a buzz from them, you know, I, I loved it. I got a buzz on the fourth day. I don't know what you're talking about, the euphoria. Oh, man. But you know what? It was from, really from being cleaned out. I mean, of, sorry, but I have to tell you, of anything in this entire 10-day cleanse, this coffee enemy is the best. I mean, I'm going home. I'm going to do those religiously. Yeah. That's what I feared the most, and that's what I love the most now. I love to eat. And before I got sick, I used to love ravioli, lasagna, chicken cacciatore, and the whole thing, spaghetti, fettuccine. My favorite was linguine alle vongole, you right? Linguine with white clam sauce. I used to make it myself, because so, everyone else made it, they'd mess it up. And I would throw in the white clams, I would throw in the sauce, and ah, oh, butter, oh, half a stick, that was the best. But here, we don't get any of that. It's all, it's all raw, or it's all uh, vegetable, vegan. It's, it's um, fruits and vegetables, nuts, you know, I felt like a squirrel sometimes, but you know, it worked. I mean, I, I didn't think that I'd be filled up. I was worrying because, you know, I, I filled out the form on the way coming here. It said, hey, you a big eater, medium, small. And I put medium and then I'm, and, you know, and my wife sent it off and I immediately thought, oh, I'm such an idiot because I'm going to starve now because I think I'm going to eat medium and I want to eat big. But it didn't, you know, it was, it was a piece of cake. It didn't, it didn't affect, I mean, the, the, the portions, it's like the manna from heaven, right? The, it, the, um, he who gathered much didn't have too much. He who gathered little didn't have too little. I had just the right amount. It was perfect. The servants were perfect. Uh, I participated in the cold sheet session. It's, um, it's an interesting session. It challenges you physically as well as spiritually. Um, what happens is they stick you in a vat of mustard and cayenne pepper and, and then they give you some hyssop tea to drink. So you, you heat up externally, internally, the whole kit and caboodle and it's it rocks your world physically. It's mm. so anyhow, you, you get through that, and then they, they get you out of that bath, and then they, they wrap you in this this cold sheet that they've doused it in ice ice uh, I want to say icicles, but that's not the word ice cubes, and it is cold, indeed cold, and, and then you waddle like a penguin over to the next room where you lie down, and they cover you with with um, with blankets, so it's good, and you're warm, you're not you're not freezing, but but the the combination of sensations is. It's surreal because um, you're still heating up. You feel like a hot dog because you're there. Well, not that we eat those here, but you feel like a hot dog because you're covered with mustard, you're covered with cayenne, and, and you, you still continue to heat up. But then, for me at least, it brought things out. It brought things out. It brought out baggage. The physical trauma brings out baggage. And so we talked. We talked about my father. 
We talked about my mother. We talked about things that affect a man as an adult. Things that hamper a man as an adult. We talked about allowing myself permission. I, I felt that I'd never been given permission to grow up, to do things on my own, to make my own decisions. And the cold sheet therapy brought that out, made it painfully, made me painfully aware of, of, a, of a big hole, a hole in my spiritual life. And, and the hole was you know, not being allowed to grow up into the spiritual leader of my family, the leader of my wife, the leader of my children that I'm called by God to be. And it brought that out because I'd been praying before the cold sheet therapy that the Holy Spirit would bring out, bring to light what needed to be addressed. And it brought it out. God is good. God is the God of miracles. I'm going to summarize in a nutshell the spiritual aspects of this program. And they are indeed deep. They're spiritual and they're deep. But to summarize in a nutshell, there's, there's the Word of God, there's the health message, but they're not separate. They're intertwined. They're in there. The health message is in the Word of God. The Word of God is in the health message. You can't separate them. Here's why I think. Because we are commanded in the Bible to be alert and self-controlled so that we can pray. Well, if I'm loading myself up with Twinkies and Ho-Hos and Ring Ding Juniors and Ding Dongs and stuff, I'm not alert. I'm in a fog. I can't pray. I can't pray effectively. Because this is a... And that's what I want. I want to be able to pray effectively. I want my prayers to be heard. I want them to be heard by the, by the master of this universe. I want them to be answered. And I want to be attuned to his will. And if I'm not alert and self-controlled, that's on me. Because I know that what I've learned here will help me to be that physically so that I can pray and uh, be the spiritual man of God that God calls me to be. You know, this place just allayed all my fears. When I come here, I'm walking without a walker. I'm on, on day, I don't know, was it two or three? I'm, I'm running. My 11-year-old son has never seen me run in person. The first time he saw me run was on that video you guys did. It's the first time. And so I'm looking forward to going home and having him see me run down the, run down the street. And I want him to run with me and I want to beat him.